Well, Steve, it's been a few days since the defeat to Ukraine last week, but first of all, how do you assess uh, the game and the few days that followed? Obviously, listen, a big disappointment for everybody in the country. Uh, none more so than the players, uh, the coaching staff. And we, we've just sulked for a few days, to be honest. You, when you're in this game, you, you have to learn how to deal with disappointments. And the other night, we were looking forward to a, a good night, a good win. Uh, and it wasn't to be. So, as I said on the night, it was big well done to Ukraine. And it wasn't our night. We've not been used to disappointments for a while. I guess that's maybe what makes it a little bit harder as well when you're on such a good run. No, I think because of the, the form of the team over the, the, the past six, seven months, uh, or even longer than that, probably going back a year to coming out the other side of the the first major tournament in 23 years. Everybody had a feel-good factor. We came out of that a little bit down because we, we felt as though we could run better in that tournament. And then we kicked on and we had a, we had a marvellous finish to our World Cup qualifying campaign. Uh, I think at any time to go six... Six wins in a row is, is really good. Uh, we managed to do that, we were in a good shape. And then obviously the situation changes a little bit with, with what happened in Ukraine uh, and we, we respected that. We, we got to June and it was one step too far on this qualification process. But what I always say, and I've said it quite consistently, is this group of players are good enough to go to the next tournament and even the next tournament after that. And I was checking through the dates of birth the other night, that's how sad I am. <laughs> And some of them can even think a little bit longer than that. Maybe for people like myself and some of the older boys in the squad, that might be too far away. But there's certainly boys in here that can, that can look and expect and hope to be at the next three, four tournaments, which is, which is a great place to be as a, as a national team head coach. You use that word consistency there, Steve. One of the things that you've become a bit renowned for is that consistency, this squad that you're building. They're really tight-knit, they're together. There's a lot of leaders in there as yeah. well. I'm assuming you don't have to do a lot to pick them up when you've got guys with that attitude in that squad. I think when you've played, when you've played at the, the top level of professional football, you know that, you know that the disappointments are big disappointments. And the, and the fact that we haven't had a disappointment for, for such a while makes it, makes it hurt even more. Uh, but you have to move on. There's, there's no doubt you have to move on. You can't, stay, you can't stay looking back. You can't think, what if, what if, because the what ifs are no good anymore. So that, game, that game's gone. We have to build. We have to start our next unbeaten run. And hopefully we can start that on Wednesday night against Armenia at Hamden. And we know how important Nations League games are, aren't they? So it's certainly easy enough to, to turn the attention immediately to these big games. Yeah, I think as a, as a nation we realised it was, that was the, the entry into the... It gave us the chance for the entry into Euro 2020. So we'll, we'll approach the games. We want to be competitive. We're a little bit disappointed that we couldn't finish top of the last uh, League B. We're back in League B again, and it would be nice to finish top, but we know we're, we know we're up against good opponents. How do you assess Armenia, our first opponents in this run? Good. Obviously, people will look a lot at the, the last or the result before they played Ireland in a friendly. If, I think if you watch the game back, they lost a man very early in that game. They changed their shape completely against uh, the Republic. I thought they did very well. Uh, home team sat in well at the right times, defended well, kept a good kept a good uh, shape to their team, and, and were a threat on counter attack. And, We'll, we'll need to be at our best to, to win the game, but hopefully we will be at our best. Absolutely. Well, we saw the disappointments, obviously, immediately after that game. Seeing the team training here behind you today, it looks like they've, they've rejuvenated themselves ahead of this one. Has there been any key to that over the last few days for you? There's always the next game. The, the players that played the other night are desperate to play. The players that didn't play are desperate to play. And for me, that makes great choices, difficult choices, and, and a good place to be in. Is there any fitness updates as well for any of the lads? We know, obviously, Lyndon uh, has had to drop it. No, Lyndon's pulled out. He, he, he picked up a, a thigh strain. Uh, so so Lyndon won't be available for any of the remaining games. Lewis Ferguson's got a little niggle that, that kept him out of training today. And hopefully he can train tomorrow. But if not, there's, there's still two games after that for Lewis. Everyone else fitting well and raring to go. The players are always a priority for you, Stephen, getting them ready to go. Other people that will feel that little bit of pain will be the fans, of course, but they'll be ready to roar on the team again at Hamden. What would be your message to the Tartan Army and all the supporters ahead of Wednesday? I think for the supporters, is we, we, we recognise the disappointment, but new campaign, we have to start again. And what we've achieved over the last three years since I took, since I took over the job is we've came together. I really feel that the, the national team and the Tartan Army have came together. And it's because of that support and that strength and that, that belief that the Tartan Army have in us that we've started getting on these good runs, we've started doing well, we have qualified for a major tournament, we reached the playoffs for another major tournament, and now it's all guns blazing to try and qualify for the next tournament, but we have to do it together. Ourselves and the Tartan Army, I think we've got a right good chance, so I'm sure everyone that's there on Wednesday night will be behind the team for the first minute, 
and that's what we need.